Hello everyone and welcome back to At Last Alone Canes of Fire. Um, I think last time we started doing like a bunch of optional stuff. I'm not really, um, she saw a really sad guy standing right over there, but he's gone now. Oh no, is this the suicide guy? What's this? I again, I can't read that handwriting. There's a key of a note. The key is added to the items. Looks like we were too late. I think we were always going to be too late. His mind was made up. It's just a waste though. I'm sure there are people in his life that will miss him, or could have helped him if they knew what he, what, uh, what he was going through. Would any of that really matter, really? Yes, I think you can always reach out and make a difference. Have you ever have you ever been depressed? Honestly, really depressed? No, I guess not. Count yourself lucky. Anyway, I guess we should let his uh, widow know back in Baytown. What was that key? Just a simple key. Seems old. That doesn't really tell me much, but... Oh, I my god, we were too late. And that's still not working. Oh. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything else up this way. Let's fight some monsters on the way, too. Wait. Oh, I was gonna ask why the red dragon is a water dragon, but whatever. Actually, hold on. Yeah. Seems like a lot of physical attackers. I'm gonna my mic too, one sec. There we go, alright. Oh, you resist that. Okay. Sleeper hold? An ankle bite. Calm down. Oh my goodness, everyone's learning skills. Hold on a sec. Let's see what we got. Um, put an enemy in, in a headlock and put them to sleep. A bite to the leg that injures and lowers agility. That would be good for bosses. Um, calm all enemies and lowers their attacks. That, that could be really useful for some bosses. Actually, even useful for, like, normal enemies, too. But, wait, hold on a sec. I can't physically move from this position. Huh, interesting. Well, I guess we can't do anything there. Is all we can do now just head back, I guess? Alright. Let's go talk to that man's wife. And maybe hidden in while we're there, too. What's our health looking? Ooh. Yeah, we need to hidden in at some point. Um, Wait. Okay, so we have to go back there at some point, too. By the way, I'm not planning to do all of the uh, side quests. Um, I want to do, like, the, uh, the Suicide Lake one and the, um, the Prison one, and after that I think I'll continue on with the story. I think there were, like, two more, but I don't 100% remember what they were.
All right, here we are. I forgot if she was outside or not. So there's a dog barking out there. Hold on a sec. Ah. <laughs> I feel like a grumpy old man every time I do that. Oh, these darn dogs. Like, I gotta, I gotta close my window now. It's the middle of summer. Like... <laughs> Uh, oh, dang. Oh, a heavy charm that imp that provides good defense. That's a new thing for Georgie. I kind of like the thing we have on Georgie, though, because I'm kind of a hoarder when it comes to these games, so I think I'll, I'll leave that on her for the time being. Oh, okay, that's the wagon. I'm a ferret between Laurentide and Carlick Baytown. Oh, cool. Okay, well, I know where I'm going after I, uh, I drop off this letter. Those are the angriest eyebrows I have ever seen. Oh, that's a headband. Uh, I don't know why I thought those were eyebrows. Anywhere on your husband? No, he's probably out feeling sorry for himself, being miserable like he always is. I hope he's okay, though. I dealt with my own things, and it's easy to get to get to a dark place. Whatever, I don't need him in my life anymore. I'm gonna follow my own dreams. Enough of, um, of supporting him in his, um, I didn't, you know? I packed up some of his things and put it over there. You can just go through them if you want. Just a bunch of junk, junk like him. I was looking for, uh, for his old key. I think that might be worth some money, but I couldn't find it. It'll turn up at some point. Um... Ooh, this is a good dilemma. You know, I'm gonna hold on to the key. Yeah, it'll probably turn up somewhere. Good, uh, good day to you, ma'am. Mind up. But that's it? Why I get more from that? Ah, oh, whatever. Where is that guy's house? Oh, you have something? Why are you sad? I lost my puffler. Your poor thing, pufflers are very adorable. What's a puffler? The cutest, fuzzly, snuggliest uh, best friend you could ever have. <laughs> they, uh, they are like little furry mice with wings. They are said to be very smart and easily trained. A perfect pet for a child. Where was the last place you saw it? Her name is Princess Burpee. And she was, um, and she was her... In her cage. And I saw her in it. And then I went to bed. And then I woke up and her cage was open and she was gone. It's okay, maybe we can find it. We are a little busy. But Miss Cal, she's crying. She's missing her friend. What if Georgie ran away? Wouldn't you be sad? I've seen it happen. She was sad. Confirmed. <laughs> if if we see it while we're in town, I'm sure we'll let you know. Thank you. She probably went out um, to see the travelers. They always have the best smelling food. She really perks up whenever we walk past. Didn't we, like, get a book about pufflers? That's supposed to be, like, um... Hold on. Small crevices of rocks. Okay, I guess that's what we're supposed to be looking for. I'm gonna stop at the inn real quick. I have plenty of money, so I don't, I don't have to worry about um, not having enough for the for the ferry. Oh, okay. Um, are you two little ones ready for bed? Yes, Miss Cal. Where uh, Where is Gary? He's making sure the inn is secure. He'll be going to bed soon. Will you tell us a bedtime story? Sure, let me think. Once upon a time, there was a young knight. She had trained very hard and wanted to fight all the monsters in the kingdom. One day, the head knight sent her and her friends out to fight a bunch of monsters. Then there were slimes and skeletons and small dragons. All kinds of monsters. Is there a scary bedtime? Is this a scary tab bedtime story? No, it ends nice. But while she was fighting monsters, the knight got separated from her other knight friend. Her friends looked and looked. But the knight had gotten lost in the forest. She was very uh, sacred, and it was getting dark in the forest. Uh, so the knight found a log to crawl under, and she fell asleep. When she woke up, what do you think she saw? A monster she forgot to kill. Her friends. They found her. Nope, it was a giant wolf standing over her. Like Georgie? Just like Georgie, but not as old, and it smelled different, like the forest. Not like a broom at the inn. At first, the knight was scared, but the wolf was very nice to her. The wolf had seen where the knight's friends went, and, uh, and she took her there. The knight was so thankful for the, uh, the wolf helping her in the forest and bringing her back to her friends that she invited the wolf into the castle to live with her, and they lived happily ever after. 
That's a pretty nice bedtime story, I guess. Thanks. Well, it's time for bed. Off you go. <laughs> that sprite of Georgie looks weird, with like the head spun the other way. How's the inn looking for, uh, from a security angle? We're looking good. It doesn't look like uh, we've been followed. Go, I'll take the first shift. Get, uh, get some shut eye. Oh, all right. Now, what I'm looking for specifically, I kind of remember, um, we found that suicide note in a house, and I'm trying to find that house again, because I just have a feeling that whatever this key unlocks, it's probably in that house. I remember it being on the right side of town, just not where. Yeah, this might take a minute. Um, I gotta say though, I really like the design of this town. It reminds me of the Bay Town from uh, Gate of Providence, and anything that reminds me of Gate of Providence makes me super happy. That game was amazing. Like. <laughs> Oh, that's the inn right there. Four? Little shop, not much of it. Oh, it's you again. Also, what is with that big black box on the side? Is that like a secret thing? I don't know. I can't seem to find the house. This is the one I just went in though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Huh, I, I don't know what to say, like... Am I just brain farting here? I could have sworn, like, we found that suicide note in a house here. Oh no, wasn't it, like, at the inn? I, I don't remember. Like, it's, I'm sorry, but I think we're not going to see what that key is used for. All right. Well, let's go back to Lauren. Wait, wait, wait. There's also the puffler thing. Um, I almost called it a puffle for a second. No, that's a club penguin thing. Something between rocks and crevices. I want to see if I can find this thing. I'm, I'm serious. Like, See if we can find some rocks. That maybe? No. But you have a mission. Do you want to see my new puffler? Sure. Do a trick, little buddy. Really cute. That noise messes with my head. Oh my god. Where'd you get it? My dad got, got him for me. He was in town last night and he saw it running around. He said it jumped right into his pocket. It must be trained. I think it's a girl. It had a little collar that said princess on it. Oh no, that's someone else's puffler. You found a pet with a collar and assumed it was a stray? That's not how that works. Uh, there's a girl in town that lost hers. Her name is Princess Burpee. Oh yeah, prove it. I can ask it. Princess Burpee, are you someone else's pufflers? She said yes. How would you know? Because I... He's just pretending. Miss Cal, we can't let people know right now. Fine, anyway, this puffler is someone else's and you need to give it back. If she cared about it, she wouldn't have um, let it out of its cage. It was an accident. She's crying and misses it really bad. Please. Stop whining. My dad just let me have the puffler, and now you want to take it away? How's this? If you find me a different puffler, I'll give I'll give this one back to you, and you can give it back to your dumb rich friend, a uh, friend in town. A new puffler. I don't know where to find a puffler. I just learned what a puffler even was. There's a book somewhere that'll tell you where to find one. Oh my goodness! Okay, this is my kind of mission, where you actually have to take, like, context clues from the world. <laughs> Alright, let's read this again. Um, small crevices and small boulders. Waterfalls. Okay, okay, that, that, that gives me a big hint. There's like a waterfall thing to the left here. Yeah, the Cascades. Dude, this is my kind of mission. I'm really enjoying this. Dang pufflers. Come 
a blue bootleg braviary. There we go. Ah! Ah, dang it. Is that a new enemy? I think that might be. Oh, that was a waste. Maybe not since the first one missed, though. I don't know. Oh, Cascades. All right. So we need to look for rock crevices. I'm gonna assume that means like inside of the... Oh, and there's someone here who can teleport us to the... Um... Oh, George doesn't smell a puffler under this rock. Okay, we do need to look under rocks. There's a rock right there that's glowing. Maybe that's the one we need to look for. Why did I do that? Oh, whatever. Georgie smells a puffler under the rock. There she is, I got it. Nice. Tickles. Does that have like an inventory spread? I need to see what this thing looks like. Oh, that's kind of cute. That kind of looks like, um... That kind of looks like the sprite from Mew from Pokemon with wings. why, but I sort of expected something that looked like the Furbles from Ark the Lad, like... You guys remember that game? God, I love Twilight of the Spirits, like... I want to let's play Twilight of the Spirits one day, that's like, actually one of my favorite video games. Let's use this. It, that takes up a lot of magic, but... Nah, I want to check it out. Dang it! That's so powerful! Nice. Oh, we got a tent. Where does this take us exactly? Our camp. I'm assuming that's like the camp, um... Wow, yeah, it is. Find a different puffler yet? Yep, here it is. He's even cuter than the one... Didn't they say the puffler was a girl in that last scene? Yeah, whatever. Gimme, gimme, let's trade. Cool. Hi, princess, it's time to get you back to your owner. Now, is that one in our inventory? Princess Burpee. <laughs> no, just like no context like that open. Like, I don't know, that's just kind of funny to me. Did you get my princess back? We sure did. I miss her so much. I was so worried. Where'd you find her? She got picked up by someone, and another kid was looking care taking care of her. We were able to get her back. I hope Princess was traded nicely. I'll I'll, ne um, I'll never let her out of my sight from now on. I love you, Princess. She loves you, too. I'm getting rid of uh, her busted cage, that's for sure. You don't want it, do you? No, I don't think we can carry a puffler cage around our adventure. That is correct. But the key to, um, to it is uh, pretty neat looking. I'll take that. You know, as a memory of Princess Burpee. I love that idea. Here you go. An iron key? 
Wait, a key for a cage? A complex key made of I- What the heck? <laughs> I was expecting to get, like, health potions from that. Like, what? I got, like, a key to an ancient, like, like, temple or something. Well, now that's done, let's head to the, uh... Let's head to the, um, to the prison, um, to the prison island. Let's ride the waves. <laughs> Can we talk to you again? Hey, you know about Agaton? I sure do. I'm Agaton. Well, then, uh, do I have a special delivery for you? It is from my Ida. It is? You don't know how much this means to me. Anything to help out a young couple in love. So, uh, say, I know getting this to, um, to, uh, to me took a lot, but do you think you could do one little thing for me? We have some official business we, uh, to which we must attend to, I'm sorry. Sure thing, what is it? I put a little insurance policy aside for us, just in case things get, get, um, get tough for us. A few babbles from my old uh, from my old times. Stolen property? Yes, but come on, coins and uh, um, antiques from uh, rich families who never, miss, um, who never missed it once it was gone, still. Anyway, what about it? If, uh, if you help Ida find it, maybe it can help her make um, ends meet until I get out. Where is it? Hey, you all seem like nice folks, and I appreciate the letter, but I'm not- I'm just not gonna tell you where it is. I put a- I put a bunch of treasure. You tell Aya that I hid it under- under our favorite flower, and if she digs there, she'll find it. This is ridiculous. If we see her again, we'll let her know. Favorite flower. Anything for true love. Cool. I just noticed that the patch below that cage is worn a little bit. Is that supposed to be like a subtle thing to make you look there? Like, I really like the idea of putting a, 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 um, a mini mission there, or putting a side mission there. I just kind of fear that it's, like, too out of the way and some people might miss it. I don't know, like, it... Where are you going again? The lumber station. I think that's kind of close to where I want to go. Wait, this is... <laughs> this is Gary's house. This is nowhere where I want to go. Now, whatever. Let's just take the long way anyway. Any experience. What the thing recommend I was? Level 9? I'm still underleveled. Dang it. You know, can I be honest about something in a blunt way for a second? I really don't think this game needed a lockpicking mechanic. Is this it? Um, and the reason why is because I don't really think lockpicking in, like, thievery kind of fits Cal's character. Like, I don't know. It's it's just... Yeah. She, she seems like someone who would never really steal. Heck, she kind of proved in that in that last one. Like, even when it is just... Oh, like I took it from people who who don't even who didn't even know it was gone. She's like, you shouldn't steal stuff. Like, I don't know. Lock picking is like a very thief kind of ability. It just feels out of character with Cal. When it does work in this game, it is kind of a cool uh, mechanic. But I don't know. I'm just rambling. Don't mind me. Am I going the right way? I don't think I'm going the right way. Oh, this is this area. Okay, I'm really not going the right way. Um, I know where we are. I think I saw that earlier and wondered how you get there. Oh no, I'm at to- nope, okay. <laughs> oh. 
What? This may be our, ho our horse rider. I'm sorry, uh, sis, but it looks like we're, we're too late. Who did this? why they hurt her? We need to find them and kill them back. Whoa, can we take it back a notch? Let us cut her down first. This is, uh, this is undignified. How do I know that's the horse rider? Miss Cal, do you know any bandits who might have done this? This does not seem to be ban a band attack. She is still wearing her jewelry. Also, something about this does not feel right. I think Georgie smells something. This is a piece of paper. There's a piece of paper in her mouth. I thought that read no girls for a second. No gods. What does it mean, no gods? I am not sure. And what is the symbol of that? A boat with no mast. That's what I see. Cat face? Whatever it may be, it is a clear sign from the person who killed this poor woman. Let us be on the lookout for the symbol. For uh, for some, we'll get uh, we'll get for sure we'll get them for this. We should ask around the big town up north in Laurentide. There are some shady people who hang around Skybridge Tavern. We'll look around there. No gods. Oh, I guess I can't look at it again. Um. Hmm. My best guess is that maybe it was like religious extremists that killed her. Like maybe they killed her for uh, for being an atheist, perhaps. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that mission. I mean, you know, I might. I don't know. <laughs> How did I not get into a fight with that thing? <laughs> I ran right into that. Oh, there's another carriage. And here we are. Hey, we saw Agaton and we were able to give him your letter. You did? He seems to be doing really good. He can't wait to get out and see you. I think, uh, your letter lifted his spirits. Oh, that's so nice to hear. You are also generous to help us. Well, you know, anything for true love, yes, we get it. And he also told us that, um, that he left something for you before he got pinched. Like what? A load of treasure. He said it is buried under your favorite flower, and, uh, that you'd know what that meant. Agaton, you're so silly. Our favorite flower is that purple mushroom out in the island. I had no- I- I had never seen one before, and when I came here the first time, I thought it was an exotic flower. And there it turned out- uh, uh, it turned to a whole joke. He'd get me purple mushrooms and, uh, put them in the flower vase. Um, give them to me on my birthday. It was our thing. Sounds cute. He said he buried something under the favorite flower, then I look under that mushroom over there. If I do it my- I do it myself, but I'm not really into the digging type. Too dirty. No problem, we'll take care of it. Oh my- Gary, like- <laughs> Gary just wants to help everyone, like... Is that how monsters spawn in? I don't think I've actually seen that before. Also, that, um, that monster attacked me on a higher level, though. That That's an RPG maker thing. I'm not bashing the game for that. Um, I'm not gonna use my magic. God, why is she so physically strong? Like, she's like an eight-year-old girl. Like, <laughs> mm, I gotta find a way over there.
You know, let's let's continue this next time. We're at about a half hour now. I'll see you folks later. Thanks for watching.